Welcome to Beginner's Guide to SolarWorks User Interface Lesson. By default, the SolarWorks menu is automatically hidden. Hover the mouse to display it and select the different menu options. Open the Model Views part to continue. On the left side, we can see the Feature Manager design tree where all model features are stored. Selecting a feature displays a context toolbar with available commands. If we right-click on the same feature, we will also see an expanded list of commands available. Select Edit Feature to review some common controls. We can open and close sections. Value Spin Boxes. Drop down selection lists, buttons to enable or disable command options, and checkboxes. Every command has an OK and Cancel commands, and some include an on off button to preview the final result. Select Cancel to continue. Activate the menu bar and click on Keep Visible to maintain the menu bar visible at all times. To show or hide a command toolbar, you can select the menu View, Toolbars and toggle the visibility of the selected toolbar. Alternatively, you can also right-click on any toolbar to toggle the, the visibility of a selected toolbar. Command toolbars can be shown or hidden using either approach. The Command Manager consolidates multiple toolbars in a single location and can be activated by selecting their tab. To add or remove tabs, right-click on a tab and select or deselect the desired Commands tab. To change the model's orientation, select the View Orientations command and select the desired orientation. A preview will be displayed. Select the different orientations as indicated. The model's orientation can also be changed using the default SolarWorks shortcuts. Control 1 Control 2, Control 3, Control 4, Control 5, Control 6, and Control 7 for an isometric view. SolarWorks includes time saving mouse gestures that can be configured. Right click on a toolbar and select Customize or from the Options drop down command. Select the Mouse Gestures tab. Select the 8 Gestures option and click OK. We will use the default settings. To use the mouse gestures, right-click and drag on the screen in the direction of the desired command. While editing the model, we can change the view orientations by dragging the mouse in the direction of the desired orientation. Different modeling environments will have different commands available. Another option to change the view orientation is the view selector. Here we can select a face of the selector cube to reorient the model. A preview will be displayed before selecting a face. Pressing the Alt key allows you to select the back faces of the cube. After activating the view selector, press the spacebar to show it again with the current model orientation. To disable it, select the view orientation command and deselect the view selector. To manipulate the view orientation, click and drag using the middle mouse button to rotate the model. Press and hold the Shift key while dragging the middle mouse button to zoom in and out of the model. To pan the model in the screen, press and hold the Control key while dragging the middle mouse button. 
You can zoom in and out of the model using the mouse wheel and zoom in at the pointer's location. The zoom to fit command will center and fit the model on the screen. You can change the model's display using the display style drop down command. The shaded option shows the model only without edges. Hidden lines removed only displays the visible model edges. Hidden lines visible shows the visible edges and the hidden edges in gray. Wireframe shows all model edges. The shaded with edges option shows a shaded model with visible edges. The tangent edge display style can be changed in the menu view display tangent edges visible as phantom or removed. Selecting a model face or edge with the left mouse button will display a context toolbar with applicable options available. Selecting a model face or edge with the right mouse button will also show a context menu with expanded command options. 